is when I switch out my winter kitchen vignette to my spring kitchen vignette. And the winter kitchen vignette featured this soup tureen because, of course, in the winter time, I'm making soups and stews and chilies and that kind of thing. But in the spring, I'm gardening. I'm trying to get things ready to put in the earth and get them sprouting up and just looking forward to the bounty that God has for us in the garden and in the world. So this is what I bought to kind of push things along. Let me show you. I picked up these two herbs just to kind of give myself a little chance to play in the dirt. And I've been sniffing them and patting them every day since I brought them home. And they're gonna live here on the counter for a while but they're not gonna go into my kitchen vignette because of course, in my kitchen vignette, there's no sun where I have it sitting. So I'm gonna have some faux herbs in that. Let me show you what I put together. So here are some of the things that I wanted to use in the kitchen vignette. I really wanted to use these faux herbs, this little sugar bowl with the roses in it, and these two plates, or at least one of the two plates. And for some reason, I just wanted to use this vintage sifter. So let's get the winter kitchen vignette disassembled and we'll start filling some things in for spring. And I wanted to start with the plate and the sugar bowl because those are two of the elements that I really wanted in there, plus that vintage sifter. But for some reason, try as I might, it just seemed to be a struggle. I tried moving the herbs around. I thought maybe if I elevated the one herb in the back, gave it just a little bit of height, that would solve my problem. And I decided to swap out the plate. For some reason, I like the shape of the bowl on the rosemary plate. It seemed to mimic the shape of the sugar bowl somewhat. So I gave up on the vintage sifter and decided to place the lavender plant on its side and that took care of that empty space right there. So now let's push it back to where it's going to live. We'll get the cookbook into place and now it is perfect. And despite the fact that that sugar bowl has no lid, I'm still able to use it. Now let's talk about this vignette just a little bit. I am really loving the way that it is put together. And I just want to point out a couple of elements. Like for example, you can see it is chock full with herbs. Here I've got some lamb's ear, which I sometimes think looks like sage. I've got some mint leaves right here. Here I've got lavender. And back here I've got some rosemary. And these are all faux herbs. And look, right here I've got a plate that in this particular plate. Here are my words, a rosamino, which means rosemary and the rosemary in the plate is reflected by the rosemary right there. And then the shape of the white plate, kind of a square, is reflected here in the shape of this white cookbook with more words. And of course, you guys know I'm a heart disease survivor, so I try to cook smart for a healthy heart. And then for me, spring also has a lot of elements of pink and green. So here I've got these little pink roses in one of my famous sugar bowls. You know how I love sugar bowls. The lid is broken, but I can fill it with this little 
pink and greenery that represents spring and I've got a beautiful little kitchen vignette. And let me remind you that this video is actually a part of the Spring Kitchen Vignette 2021 collaboration hosted by myself, This and That with Denise Jordan. But there are so many other amazing YouTube creators who are jumping in and they are creating Spring Kitchen Vignettes to bring just a little bit of pretty, just a little bit of spring into their kitchens. So be sure and check out the link in the description box to the Spring Kitchen Vignette 2021 playlist so that you can see what they have done. And while we're here, let me share with you two important announcements. Number one, I am hosting a Spring Into Clean, Spring Cleaning collaboration where 10 of the loveliest YouTube creators, homemakers all, are joining me in bringing you tips and tricks and spring cleaning motivation. That's going to start on April 5th. And then after April 5th, you'll have a new video every Sunday for the month of April. Announcement number two is that Apron Diva is launching on April 11th. So if you want to be in the know about the Apron Diva launch, click on the link in the description box so that you can get on the email list so that you can be notified what's what. And during the week of the Apron Diva launch, I'm going to be celebrating my 40,000 subscriber milestone. So there'll be giveaways that week. So be sure to come back and join us at that time. If you want to see more episodes of my homemaking stories, click here. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying, you're not done yet. Click on the link in the comment section below and check out my whole house declutter where I show you how to find the hidden clutter in your house. And I will see you next time.